Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Desiree. Today's look is a paid sponsorship from Mayron Makeup. We're going to be using the special effects kit. In the kit itself, you'll get a bruise wheel. You'll get four mask covers and four cream blends. Some rigid collodion. Sport blood. Stage blood. Coagulated blood. 3D gel. Liquid latex. Extra flesh and modeling putty, brush cleaner, makeup remover lotion, some barrier spray, color set powder, white hair colorant or hair white. Then we have some tooth effects in blood red and in nicotine, some spirit gum, and some spirit gum remover. We have Fixative A, we have some a little tiny little prosthetics, some crepe hair, and we have some materials as well, some q-tips, a stippling sponge, some wedge sponges, a powder puff, and three painting brushes. Jumping into the tutorial, we're going to take a red lip liner and I'm just going to start mapping out where I want the mouth to be. I did have a picture of Ronald McDonald as a reference. We're going to start placing down our first layer of liquid latex and I'm just going to take a wedge sponge and put it on the areas where we lay down the red lip liner. I'm going to do it on my nose as well and then my eyebrows. Once your first layer is dried, I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat, a second layer of liquid latex right on top. We're not going to be adding any type of tissue to this. We're just going to start layering the liquid latex itself. I did take a latex glove and started to apply the actual latex closer to the inside of my mouth. Once I got the shape that I wanted, I set everything in with some color set powder. Then you're just going to start lifting up the flaps from the inside of your mouth. You can take some scissors for straighter edges, but I just started to separate it with my hands for some uneven texture. Now we're going to take one of the mask covers, and this one is in white. I'm just going to place this all over my skin and on top of the liquid latex as well. And then we're just going to blend it in with a wedge sponge. After I've blended everything in, I'm going to take more of the color set powder and press everything in. Using the bruise wheel, we're going to use the black, the brown, and the red. I'm going to start with the red. I'm going to place that as my base, and I'm just going to apply that on my lid. Start blending it out. The brush didn't really work, but I started to use my finger, and I got the more diffused effect that I wanted. So I just used my finger throughout the whole time around my eyes. And then we're going to go in with a little bit of black underneath the brow here just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension. You can definitely use a brush, but I'm kind of going back and forth between the brush and my finger just to blend everything out a little bit more seamless. Taking the same black, we are going to start distressing the bottom portion of my eye and just going to start dragging that line towards my cheek and the mouth. We're going to take that really bright red and we're just going to start putting that on top of our liquid latex flaps. And I'm just going to put this right on top, very, very harshly, not a really big blend. And then just start to take a little stippling brush and start to diffuse that in whatever way that you want. I wanted mine to be very, very messy, which is why I went with this effect. To deepen up the hollows of the face, we are going to add a little bit of that black underneath the nose, which is the part that's going to look peeled back. We're going to add the black on the mouth portion as well, and then we're just going to set everything with a little bit of eyeshadow. Because I wanted the mouth to be a little brighter, I did take the Mayron Aqua Color, and I applied it to the edges of my mouth as well as my nose. I am going to take some of the black aqua color and place that messily on my lid. And then we're going to accentuate those lines with a little bit of aqua color and using the brushes that came in the kit as well. As always, we're going to do a little bit of a liner. And then the famous Ronald McDonald brows, a very arched and very round. Okay, do not pay attention to what the frick I'm doing right here. I'm an idiot. 
I don't know why I thought it was going to be a good idea to put them over the flaps when in all reality I could just like, you know, stuff them in the flaps. That way the flaps look like gums, but I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, just put a little bit of spear gum. Like, you'll see, you'll see right now when I realize this dumb shit. Dumb. Anyway, put some spear gum underneath the flaps and then stick the little teeth. The teeth were made from liquid latex and cotton. Now that we got that settled, we're going to take some coagulated blood. I think that's how it's pronounced. And I'm just going to take a spatula. You probably could have done the blood first and then the teeth on top. I don't know. You know, just do whatever works. This was just working for me at this point in the moment. We just filled in the mouth with some coagulated blood to make it nice and juicy and red and disgusting. Moving on to the body portion, we're going to take some water activated paints and these are from Mayron as well. We're going to basically use the yellow, the red, the white, and the black. The basis of Ronald McDonald's costume is basically yellow with some sleeves that are striped red and white. You can pretty much do your own take on it. This is just kind of what came to mind when I was doing it. The hardest part about doing it is probably doing straight lines on your arms by yourselves. So, like I did, I did have someone help me paint the lines on my other arm. So, if you need to, definitely get the Now that I've got the base for my actual body painting, we are going to start outlining everything with some black. Adding some depth, shading some stuff, and just adding a little bit of that black to make it more cartoon-like and not so two-dimensional. And definitely don't forget to add your little McDonald's sign just to complete the whole look. So the reason why we decided to go with the Ronald McDonald is because one day we went to McDonald's and Kaya said she loved McDonald's so much that even if everybody at McDonald's was a zombie, she would still eat McDonald's. So here we are, a demented Ronald McDonald. Anyway, we're going to put some square blood in the mouth as well. We're just going to let that drip. It's pretty gross. It doesn't taste bad though, but we're just going to let that drip out of the mouth just to give it a little nasty. And then we're just going to spray a little bit of blood on some random areas. We did pop on some contacts. These are like no vision contacts, so I don't recommend them in the daylight. But I do recommend them at nighttime because you can definitely see through them. We did add some eye blood drops to my eyes, which is why the eyes look completely red. This pretty much concludes my demented Ronald McDonald. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed being Ronald McDonald. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and we hope to see you in our next video. We love you. Ciao.